Today I'm doing a Draw Their Life about Annie Easley, a great female African-American mathematician. Annie Jean Easley was born in Birmingham, Alabama in 1933. Annie attended parochial schools in Birmingham from 5th grade to high school. She graduated valedictorian. Even though her mother told her she can be whatever she wanted, she thought that the only careers open to African American women were teaching and nursing. She didn't want to be a teacher, so she planned on becoming a nurse. In high school, she decided to become a pharmacist. In 1954, Annie married. When her husband was discharged from the military, they moved to Cleveland, Ohio. Sadly, there was not a school of pharmacy nearby. Being a young married woman, she would never leave her husband to go away to school. Since pharmacy wasn't a choice anymore, she had to find a different career. After a while, she read about a place called NACA, later NASA, in the local newspaper. There was a story about twin sisters who worked there as computers. They described that human computers calculate and check calculations. They also compute. And it really interested Annie. So she became a computer herself. Later, she was offered a job as a math technician. In order to become a math technician, she needed a bachelor's of science in mathematics. She had to self-fund her education, even though the agency paid for her male counterparts to get advanced degrees in math. She got her Bachelor's of Science in Mathematics at Xavier University, New Orleans, Louisiana. Math technicians solve mathematical formulas to help in engineering and scientific work. Now they would get paid about $54,140 annually. Again, she was promoted, but this time to a computer programmer. Computer programmers write the code that computers read in order to operate properly. Now computer programmers would get paid about $71,000 annually. As a math technician and computer programmer, Annie worked on the center rocket and batteries for electric cars. In her spare time, Easley played a lot of sports. She was president of the NASA Ski Club and the Cleveland Metro Ski Council, as well as Fagoes, Snowballers, Erie Shore, and Warren Ski Clubs. She later began running for conditioning and competitions. She also played tennis and golf. Sadly, she died on June 25, 2011 in Cleveland, Ohio, when she was 78 years old.